hi guys welcome back to my channel is your girl again so in today's video we are going to be making moi moi yes beans puddy so guys if you know you've not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to the channel like my videos comment share and also give my videos a thumbs up okay so i'll be showing you the material and the ingredients that i'll be using to make this delicious moi moi i'll start with my beans i'll be using brown beans for this but you can use any beans of your choice then i have my stock water i'll be using turkey stock water then i have my seasoning cube my salt for taste curry powder my grounded crayfish then i have my seasoning powder so after that i have my eggs then i have my pepper mix which contain tatashe pepper and onions so i'll be using all these ingredients to make my moi moi so i'll start off by putting my egg on the fire i have to boil my eggs for the moi moi so i'll put the water on the pot and place them on the stove then add my eggs to the water then i'll cover it and allow it to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes to get my hard eggs The next step is the washing of beans. There are many other methods of washing beans for moi moi, but I'll be using my hands to wash these beans without soaking it. I don't like soaking my beans. So I'll be adding water to the beans. After adding water, I'll start washing it. I'll continue this process till I get rid of the skin. Then our beans is ready for grinding. So guys, I'm done washing the beans. As you can see, it's very, very clean. There's no skin in the beans. So you ensure that your beans is as clean as this and make sure there's no sand in the beans so that you will not blend sand while blending your beans, okay? So right now, I'll be soaking the beans for about 10 minutes before grinding it because I don't want it to be too hard for the blender so i'll soak it and allow it to get soft a little before grinding the beans to make my work so easy so here i'll be washing all my pepper mix and get them ready for grinding i'll start by washing my pepper tatashe and onions So this my already washed pepper mix, you can see the onions, the tatashe and the pepper. So they are neatly washed. I'll keep them aside and use them when I want to blend them together. I'll be checking on the eggs now. As you can see, the eggs have started boiling. So I will remove them from the boiling water soak them with water for it to cool down a little then i'll peel off the shell and yes our eggs is ready to be used so 
so these are already peeled eggs as you can see it is neatly peeled and it's very very clean so next i'll be blending my beans i'll be using this ninja blender to blend my beans okay a word of advice guys if you know that your blender is not strong enough please don't try this method because not every blender that can blend beans so easily some of them can't even blend beans okay you better take it to a bigger engine so guys i'll be blending it in badges so i'll add my beans then add my pepper tortoise and onions then i'll add water to it to ease the work for the blender so after that i'll put it on for it to blend so guys this is already blended beans as you can see it's very very smooth so i'll start off by whisking it with my wigs to ensure it is mixed properly before adding any ingredients after mixing them thoroughly i'll start off by adding my stock water to the beans after adding the stock water i'll mix them together and ensure it is properly mixed Then next, I'll be adding my seasoning cube. After adding the seasoning cube, I'll stir them together for proper mixture. Then I'll be adding salt for taste. Guys, please, you have to minimize the quantity of salt you are using for this recipe. Mind you, we've already added our stock water and in stock water, it contains all the spices that we need in it. So we should be mindful of how we put extra spices so that our memory will not be salty at the end. So after adding my seasoning powder, my crayfish and curry, then I'll stir them together and ensure they are properly mist so you have to make sure that your mixture is light your mom may have to be very very light so that when it's fully ready it will not be strong so it must carry the quantity of water that will make it so light so that when it out you have a very soft momo to serve so guys right now our momo is fully mixed you can see how light the momo is looking so i'll be putting them in this rubber plate the reason why i'm using this rubber plate because it's easy for me to store after preparing it so i'll put them in the rubber plate then i'll be adding my already boiled egg to the momo after that i'll cover it and put them on the fire So I'll be adding the eggs in the moi moi. So guys, this recipe is just so easy recipe. I don't want to add extra things to my mama. I just want to use only eggs. But you can also add so many other things to your mama like fish, beef, corn beef. Eat easy. So mine, I'm just using only eggs for this recipe. So guys, I'll cover them up and get them ready to be cooked. so guys the pot is set so this is the pot that i'll be using to cook this momoi in the pot i have a little quantity of water then i have foil paper the reason why i spread the foil paper in the pot is to avoid direct heat from the pot to the plate as you can see i'm using rubber plate to cook this momoi so i don't want the heat from the pot to melt the rubber plate so the fire paper will prevent it from happening then i put a little water first the reason is so that the water will not cover the plates because if the water cover the plate that means 
the water will enter the moi moi so after that then i'll arrange my momo in the pot then i'll cover it with a bag then i'll allow it to boil please guys you must monitor your momo to ensure that the water does not dry at any point before the momo gets ready so you have to be putting water gradually until the momo is ready and also you must cook the momo on a low heat to avoid it from burning So the momo is almost ready i'll be adding a little more water to the moi moi then after that i'll cover it and allow it to boil some more then our moi moi is fully ready so guys our momo is ready so you can combine this momo with anything of your choice and it is a good option for breakfast dinner lunch and it can be combined with anything okay hope you will try this recipe thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i'll see you again on my next video bye